Hi guys, so I got requested to do a look on, let me see if I can say her name, Candice Swanepoel. She's a Victoria's Secret supermodel. Um, and she went to a fragrance, one of the fragrances um, launch premiere thing. And someone asked if I could do her look. So if you want to see what it looks like, this picture isn't too clear. But I figured I would show you guys. This is her at the launch and pretty much it's very neutral it's wing liner um subtle makeup subtle blush subtle lip it's kind of more of like i'm not wearing any makeup look so i'm gonna have this sitting in front of me just so i can see her so it basically basically just focuses on her eyes and what i'm going to use oh here it went is it doesn't really look like she's wearing too much shadow but I'm going to take a very subtle color I'm going to be using the MAC soft brown color which is this one right here um, just to put a little bit in my crease to help give me that fake crease that I don't have because I've got hooded eyes <laughs> to hold my mirror so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in my crease just to give me a little bit more of looking like I have one sorry had the damn mirror probably up above my face the end higher time okay so that I mean you can't really tell too much with that it's just pretty much to give me a little bit more of a looks like I actually have a crease natural not hooded blah uh, next step I'm going to do is my liquid liner um, so pretty much on how I do my hooded eyes I have another video where I kind of go into depth on it it's, it's a makeup tutorial but I also have my winged liner tutorial type in it, but we'll do it again. Um, I put my eyeliner on regular. I wait till the end to do the wing. So I'm going to put the liner on first and then go up and talk about it. And it's actually been a while since I've worn liquid liner. I haven't been wearing too much makeup this summer. I've been wearing too much makeup this summer because I've been on vacations and stuff like that. And her liner is definitely a little thicker. So I'm trying to make it a little bit thicker. So I got the liner on. And now the part where you wing. So if you've got hooded eyes like me, what you do is make sure your face is relaxed so that the hood is naturally laying down because if you don't relax your face and you do it when you relax your face your hood could eat your wing so make sure your face is relaxed and just wing it so unfortunately since my eyes are two different hoods it's a little so as you can see like if I were to go up here my hood would eat it so what I want to do is Wing it more like out this way. And I always end up over winging it. It's okay. Just get a Q tip and fix it. So, what I do with the Q tip. As you dip a little bit of it, just a teeny bit in the makeup remover, an eye makeup remover, so that it's wet and then it actually takes the uh, liner off nicely. And kind of just follow where you don't want it to be. And now as you can see, it's a nice little point. This is a pretty extreme little wing, just like that. 
Uh, next step is curling in mascara, as long as your liner is dry. Which one should be? She does wear lashes in the video, I'm in mean the video, and she does wear lashes for that, but I'm not going to put lashes on because I'm just doing this makeup purely for YouTube, for you guys. I can definitely tell when I'm putting this mascara on that I didn't remove all my mascara from yesterday. So I got a little mascara on my lid here. So I'm going to go over with that with the soft brown to help cover it up, maybe. I'm going to fill in my brows because it's obvious she fills her brows in in the at uh, the premiere. Which you could actually use that soft brown by MAC to fill in, whoop, to fill in your brows if that color is similar to your brow. I do need to get my eyebrows redone. It looks like she does maybe use a little bit of a highlight under her brow. So I'm just going to use Rice Paper by MAC, which is right here. As a highlight color. And also in the tear duct area. So that just helps brighten you up a little bit. So that's the eye look for you. You could add um, lashes if you'd like, but like I said, I don't really feel like it. The next step I'm going to do is add blush. She does. It, she seems to be using more of like a bronzy blush. So what's perfect for that is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 24 Hour Blush in Exposed. It's a very bronzy, rosy color. So I'm going to use that. So uh, these are like one of my favorite blushes. And pretty much the last step, she looks like her lipstick is supposed to be like, I'm not wearing any lipstick color. So I'm going to use the Revlon Just Bitten Balm Stain in Precious, which is a nude. And it, she's definitely not wearing a gloss, so this is like perfect because it's like a, it gives you moisture, doesn't really like you're not, you know, doesn't dry your lips out, but it's nice. And that pretty much completes the look. If you want to take a look at her again, this is what she looks like. You could just Google her. She's got plenty of more pictures up on the website. Up on Google, I mean. And yeah, it's it's a pretty everyday, but I want to add a winged look, wing eye to my look. And that's about it. Unfortunately, when I relax my face, this eye tends to hang down more towards the liner, so, but, oh well, I don't care. Hope you enjoyed that, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.